here are six things that you must check before stepping into any company even better if you can ask about these things before accepting the offer and if you're scared for some reason to ask these questions before getting the offer then it's okay you can ask these questions after you get the offer but before joining that company Checking on these six things from your future company will help you compare the job offer better uh, with your current job. Also, if you have multiple job offers, so these six things will help you evaluate the job offer better so that you move on to the next job, which is actually fruitful for you and not just like a random career jump. Also, all these six points are not related to CTC. If you are interested to compare your job offer only basis CTC that which job offer is better and how to compare them, then I've already done a video in the past regarding this. So you can check that out i'll leave the link either in the i card somewhere or in the description box below so do give it a check after this session on that note let's get started the number one question the number one thing that you must check in your future companies that how much is their average percentage of hike each year i've taken hundreds of interview but I think hardly one or two candidates so far in my entire career have asked this question from me. Most of them just blindly get excited about the CTC that is offered or, or they are too desperate to jump out from their current job that they miss on this crucial fact. You must check what is the average percentage that they give and what is the percentage for a star performer in the scenario where the max hike is given. What is that hike? You'll be surprised to know, especially my young professional, the graduates, freshers and early professionals, you'll be surprised to know that the brands that you love, the brands you admire, especially the mass recruiters, give very little hike, as little as 5%. That too, if you perform really great, you're a star performer in the team, 5% is the average ratio for a star performer in all those services companies that you admire a lot that you want to get into. If you have joined those companies on a package of say for example 4.5 or so, you can calculate the numbers yourself that how much you'll grow in five years at the rate of 5% every year. So please save your career by asking this simple question until you are jumping for any other reason like you are not jumping out only for monetary reason there is something else that you do not like about your job like project or the nature of work then it's totally fine i mean but you must be aware that what is the hike that you're going to get at least you have your mind prepared for that and it doesn't come as a surprise or i should say shock for you Second important thing to check is that what is their performance appraisal cycle and will you be included in the current appraisal cycle? Say for example, uh, the company you are going into, they have an appraisal cycle from Jan to December and you happen to join the company somewhere towards the end of the August. So most likely you are not going to be considered for that year appraisal cycle. That means you will not be rated uh, towards the end of December and you will not get any hike in January like other employees will get. So obviously companies will not change their policy just because you do not find it good that you are not being included in uh, the appraisal cycle they'll not change the policy but what you can do is this awareness can make you negotiate more that that because you are not going to get any hike in this appraisal cycle and you lose out on these four five months then you must negotiate your ctc accordingly there are companies who do uh, give a pro rata hike as in uh, they will not give you like entire year hike but rather they'll evaluate your three four months or four five months in the company and they'll give you the hike little bit here in their basis pro Data basis your date of joining. The important thing here is that you should not lose out on anything, any money just because you are switching job. In worst scenarios, I've seen this happening with people that, that a candidate was about to get a hike in their current company, but because they put a resignation, they are not considered for that hike. So they lose out on that money. And when they join the other company, the other company do not give them the hike because they joined late in the appraisal cycle. So it's very important for you that you are aware about these facts and you negotiate your CTC accordingly so that you do not lose out anything. When you negotiate these factors uh, matter a lot when you say that that I'm missing out on my appraisal here just because I'm uh, switching so I want to negotiate a little more or uh, your company will not be considering me uh, for the appraisal cycle this year so please I want to negotiate more uh, this is this point checking on these points will help you negotiate better for your career and I do not want you guys to miss out on any opportunity to get that monetary growth why not we are working so hard as an employee every single day and in today's time there's no nine to five job we all know how much we have to stretch how much effort we are putting into our job and 
there is nothing else we are doing beyond our job most of us so why not every penny counts and these little things will get you ahead this awareness will get you ahead to negotiate better for better ctc so make sure you ask this question next question on the list is so simple yet most of the people do not ask for it and the question is whether the company provides joining bonus or not most of the companies have joining bonus policies specifically for people who are joining early 30 days or less because in india we mostly have longer notice period like 60 days 90 days if somebody happens to join within 30 days like 15 days 20 days 25 days companies are willing to pay joining bonus to all these guys and if you do not ask nobody is going to give you so make sure that you do ask there's no harm in asking about joining bonus if the company do not have the joining bonus policy they'll simply say you that we do not have joining bonus policy there's no harm in checking at the most you'll hear no and if they do have the joining bonus you'll get extra money next question on the list is that you must ask from the company is that how that company is going to compensate the extra work or extra effort that you put into work or in that company it includes your overtime your shift allowance on call allowance odd shift allowance so what happens is uh, some companies do provide overtime and some companies simply do not even if you work for 12 hours they will not consider paying for overtime so you should be mindful when you are taking such offers because if you have policy in your current company and you're switching for say for example typical 30 percent hike and they do not have a overtime policy the future company then you might end up being in loss actually than uh, being in plus in terms of money and same goes for shift allowances as well whether the company is giving night shift and if it is not a night shift say, say for example you have a shift which starts around 2 in the afternoon and it goes till 10 11 12 in the night uh, then obviously it's not a night shift as such but it's still not india standard time after 6 or 7 pm the hours that you're putting is not india standard time so there must be some compensation to compensate for those odd hours and good companies do consider paying all these allowances so you must check how the company is compensating if your current company is giving you all these benefits but your future company do not then it will be a loss for you if you are going on a typical 30 percent hike you must then negotiate accordingly obviously it's company's choice company's policy you can still join them but negotiate your ctc accordingly consider all these benefits allowances that you are getting in your current company and negotiate the package as for that next point to check is about medical insurance and a lot of people accept offers in hurry bari and they do not check on this most of the companies do include medical insurance in the ctc only which means that your medical insurance amount is getting deducted from your salary each month if your current company provides you medical insurance over and above ctc so that's an additional benefit you need to negotiate on that number when you are joining a company which is deducting that money from your own package also especially if the company is providing medical insurance coverage for parents also if your current company is providing that and your future company is not providing all that coverage for your parents and your parents are sick they are aged you know that they need medical attention through out the year then you will be in actual loss if you go on standard 30 percent hike because then you have to buy insurance for your parents from market which will be huge it will be very expensive because with pre-existing diseases it's it's very difficult to get a medical insurance plan on good rates so you have to be mindful of all of these things when you jump it's always better to consider an offer which is giving you medical insurance over and above the package that is it is not deducting the amount from your ctc and that's one way of comparing the ctc also when you try to compare you'll get to know that if you see my another video uh, where i have compared the offers in terms of ctc and the next point on the list is which is again very important is to check details of the projects it's the most important point in entire evaluation of a job offer if in your current company you are on a good project in terms of market value obviously when you go out or jump anywhere you'll get a good hike but if you are switching on a project which, which is not so great or which is a copy paste kind of project or which is more of a mundane or repetitive work then you are actually degrading yourself uh, by taking that higher ctc when you jump next you will not get any value out of it you'll get very minimal hike if you try to jump or it can be difficult to jump altogether who knows so it's very important to check on the project details try to pick a project which is uh, on trending or relevant technology where you think you can grow and learn more always try to switch jobs where you know 
around 60 to 70 percent of the job and 30 percent is still unknown to you so that when you go there you learn and enhance your knowledge it should not be just same as what you were doing like you know 200 percent of it already then there's no point always look for growth oriented projects it will increase your market value to a very great extent so guys those were six important points to check on before you join any company or to negotiate better when it comes to offer negotiation you will never fail when you're using these points Make sure whenever you are switching your job next you implement all of these suggestions and check on all of these points so that you get a good hike which you definitely deserve with that i'm signing off and i really hope you derived some value out of today's conversation and if you still have queries mention them in the comment section down below i'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities i'll see you in my next video till then stay safe and healthy take care bye